Well, after seeing an alarming number of gray whales die and wash ashore in recent years, scientists say they believe the event that caused it may be over. Now, let me warn you here, some of the images in this report are a little hard to watch. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns found that there are still risks for the whale population as our climate continues to change. For the past several years, the number of gray whales dying and washing ashore along the west coast has hit alarming rates. But now, after first declaring an unusual mortality event, or UME, back in 2019, scientists believe it's finally over. I wasn't surprised by the closure because we've been collecting the data and we've been involved in all of the meetings discussing uh, the decline and then the stabilization of the population. Mo Flannery works with the California Academy of Sciences and was one of the local scientists who would do necropsies on dead whales that washed ashore. Mo and her partners at the Marine Mammal Center say they think climate change was one of the main reasons driving the UME. In the Arctic where there's been all this change uh, in the amount of ice coverage, uh, and warming there, it uh, looks like it has affected their food supply. Researchers think with less food available for the whales in their normal feeding grounds, many didn't have the strength to make their annual migration and ultimately died. Recently, though, they say the whales have adapted. We saw for the first time gray whales switching their prey and feeding on fish. The UME may be over, but local experts say there are still risks to the gray whale population. They tell me things like ship strikes remain a real and dangerous threat to the creatures. Beyond ship strikes, scientists say the risk of the UME reoccurring is also a possibility. That's why they'll continue to monitor the animals and be on high alert for any changes. We've moved from the, the unusual mortality event into the post UME or post unusual mortality event monitoring phase. The high numbers have decreased, but we will likely still see dead animals. In San Francisco, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.